everyone welcome back to my channel so before we get into this video I first and foremost want to say that I hope you're okay I hope your family is okay I hope that everybody is staying safe and healthy to those of you that have to go out and work trust me we completely understand you here it's kind of like a mix of emotions because you need money to survive but also you want to be away from everybody so everybody stays healthy and we're all just doing the best we can do and I just want to remind you guys to continue to have faith. Trust me, I am trying here as well. Um, I feel like, you know, our hearts are just heavy right now and so I just wanted to come and film a video for you guys and hopefully I can get this up within this week. But I know it's a video that you guys have been wanting from me and so I'm excited that I get to give it to you guys and even if I just get to be a distraction for just one person, um, I'm happy to do so because I needed all the distraction in the world myself so I completely understand. Um, and yeah guys, so getting into the video, we are going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. makeup. I got my little package yesterday yesterday it came in i do just quickly want to mention that i don't know you guys i don't know where my head was i completely thought that i had like a bunch of elf brushes and i was wrong i don't even know if i have one elf brush i might um but all the brushes that i use in the video aren't going to be elf brushes i'm so sorry i did get an elf sponge because i knew i didn't have that but i don't know where my head was i really really thought that i had elf brushes anyway Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or as often as you'd like to be reminded about my videos. You guys, I always have my videos here for whenever you guys want to come back and watch them. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and open my box, lay everything out. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So to prime our eyes, I got the e.l.f. Putty Primer and it looks like this. It comes in just like a little container. And then the inside looks like my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So I'm just going to take my brush, dip it in here. Ooh, I will say it's a little thicker filling, I feel. So let's just... If you are interested in more of these, like, full face videos, um, I did do a full face of Colourpop and a full face of Wet n Wild. I'll link those down below if you're interested. But I know you guys have been waiting for full face of e.l.f. So now that I have that on, now we're going to set it. And I have the e.l.f. Smooth and Set Eye Primer, or Eye Powder, I'm sorry. And it just has a little sticker. Hopefully I can take this off. And then I'm just going to set that eye primer here. Okay, you guys. So I'm all set. Everything's feeling pretty normal. Nothing's feeling strange so far. So we're going to go in with this e.l.f. palette. This one is Opposites Attract. And so it has a little bit of light and a little bit of dark. So I'm going to go in with the shade Sassy. And then going into the shade Cheeky. Then we're going to go into the shade Warm. And then dabbing into Genuine. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I got my little base going for my little halo eye, but I don't know what shade I want to like put in 
to the middle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch a few of these shades for you and then I'll make my decision. Um, but first I'm going to show you the shimmers and then I will show you um, some mattes because there's a lot more mattes than shimmers. So let me go ahead and zoom you in. Okay guys, so these are the shimmer shades. I have my little one wonky one down here. But I wanted to go ahead and show you all the shimmer shades because I feel like those are usually the ones that aren't super pigmented with like, you know, more less expensive makeup or like drugstore makeup, but these are pretty good and they're pretty creamy. So starting from here, this is the shade Clever, this is the shade Spicy, Darling, Bold, Chill, and the shade Low Key, which is kind of like a duo chrome, but you can barely kind of tell. I feel like it's more of an in-person noticeable difference. Okay, so I did put mattes on my eyes, but these are a few other of the mattes. This is the shade Wise, the shade Smooth, the shade Easygoing, and then the black shade Genuine. I just wanted to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So I'm going to go in with the shade Spicy and the shade Darling. I'm going to kind of mix the two, and I'm just kind of doing that on my finger. I'm going to apply with my finger and then if I feel like it needs a little bit more of a vamp, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my setting mist. Okay, so definitely going in with my setting mist. I already loaded up my brush. I'm just going to spritz it. There you go. So it gave me just a little bit more of a rose goldy kind of vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then I'll be back so we can move on to the face. Okay you guys, so I went in and I got that other eye done. I know this is very subtle, but you guys, I actually really like it. Okay, so we're going to keep moving on and we're going to go into the e.l.f. Putty Primer. This one is the matte one. Um, I tried with you guys the... Um, like their original one, their e.l.f. Putty Primer, I think is just all it's called. And I put it against the Tatcha one, and you guys, I ended up loving the e.l.f. one more. I got it open, guys. <laughs> so the inside just looks like this. You guys, it looks so like, oh, like I don't want to touch it. But, oh, it feels really good. Okay, so I'm just going to take some on my finger and I'm just gonna apply really where I feel like I need it I'm hoping this keeps me nice and mattified throughout my day we will find out together so it does look nice and mattifying already it looks like it smoothed down the areas where I applied it. Well, let's hope it continues to do so. So for foundation, I did get the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation. They had a few different foundations and a few different of each product, and I wasn't sure what to grab, and it's those times that I wish you guys were there to tell me which one to grab. So I just did the first pump and like oil came out. So let me shake this a little more, and then Okay, it's coming out normal now. It was just like that first little bit. I feel like this might be light for me. I'm praying not because I really, really tried. I spent like the most time on the foundation and the concealer. But we are going to apply that with the Total Face Sponge. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go wet it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I wet my sponge. You guys, this thing is massive. Like, I kind of like that it's so big, but it's massive. <laughs> So I'm just going to pump the foundation on my hand. It does look a little light for me, you guys. Ugh. Okay, so just taking my sponge. And something has a scent and I can't tell what it is. Oh my gosh, this is like really white. See what I mean? Online, it looked like... My skin tone. Gosh. You guys, this is horrible. <laughs> but also, this is supposed to be light medium, really? This is pretty white for a light medium. 
y'all this completely like washed me out uh i pray that we can save this with powder i will say that so far the foundation is sitting nicely though like it feels good it doesn't feel oily or heavy or drying it just feels pretty good pretty normal so we'll see if we could save it with the foundation if not i might even go in with my l'oreal just to save it because it feels good but i don't know so once you pick a foundation shade they can pick um a concealer shade for you so i did get the 16 hour camel concealer um and we'll see how it performs guys this concealer is good I'm debating is it closer to the dose of colors or is it closer to the Jeffree Star we'll fill it right now with our hands and we'll just set this and of course I'm just going in with my powder dipping in my brush you guys that feels good let me set the other eye and then we're gonna put a little bit of Jeffree Star and a little bit of the Dose of Colors and we'll see what it feels like. But I like this concealer. You guys, I can honestly say I just kind of like, you know, put down my concealers and touch them all and seeing how they all kind of like fill as you keep rubbing it in. You guys, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like right in the middle of the Jeffree Star Concealer and the Dose of Colors Concealer. Like, it is amazing. It feels amazing. We'll see how it wears. Like, I don't know. That might be my new concealer. <laughs> okay, you guys. So for powder, I did get the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. Oh, gosh. Please let this be a good color. I got it in the shade medium dark. Ooh, that looks like it could be very dark. And then I got a bronzer. This is the Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. And I feel like I could probably pull this off like a finishing powder. I feel like this one might be too dark. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. This is supposed to be like the bronzer. And then I should probably not stamp that on my face, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go in with, I'm oh, sorry, that was the finishing powder. This is the bronzer. I think I'm gonna go in with the bronzer and just see here. See if we can save this. doing a little something y'all that's not too bad that's not too bad okay we're we're kind of fixing this we're working with it so I'm gonna try to bronze now with the actual sheer finishing powder and see what happens you guys I think we kind of fixed it a little bit no maybe I don't know. I'm sure you guys will let me know down below. Um, so again, that was the finishing powder. And this was in the shade medium dark. And then this one was the bronzer. And this was in the shade, I believe it was like Summer Kissed or something like that. I'll pop it on the screen for you guys. But yes, you guys, powders are pretty good. I don't know. I'm honestly kind of surprised because I feel like there's always something that's like, absolutely not but so far yes 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 <laughs> so now we're going with blush i've got this primer infused blush the packaging looks like this by the way i haven't even been showing you the packaging this is a huge pan i'm a little scared the color looks very like orangey um like corally but i'm hoping that the pigmentation is soft so first we're going to go in with 
this one. I'm just gonna lightly feather it on here. Oh, that's a pretty color. Okay, okay, okay. I did have a little bit of the baked blush on this brush because originally I was going to go in with that first. But we'll add a little bit of the bakedness in a second. Oh, I don't hate it. I don't hate that color. That's a cute color. I like it. Okay, so now I'm just going to dip lightly into my baked blush because I actually do really like this shade. And we'll just give it a little extra something. Oh, I like it. I was kind of scared, you guys. <laughs> yes. Okay. Moving on. I'm so excited that this is working out. So for highlight, I got this Shimmer Highlight Powder in the color Sunset Glow. And again, all these come like in these huge compacts. Yes. Okay. And then... I'm just going to take a highlighting brush and we're just going to come in here and pop it on. So it is a very like glow within type of highlight. We're going to try something out. I put the highlight on my brush and I'm going to spritz it just a little bit. I kind of held it like really far and see if we can intensify it. That intensified. That did a little something, right? Yes. Okay. You guys, it could have been this brush too. Okay, let's go with my favorite highlighting brush. Yes, I think it was the brush. This one's just, I don't know, my favorite brush for highlight. That's without wetting it. And it's giving us pretty much the same effect after I wet it. Let me go over. And then I'm just gonna blend. Yes, you guys. Okay, I'm I'm excited here. I'm excited here. Okay, so now we do have a setting mist. I did get the small one because you guys I've been loving my ColourPop hydrating hyaluronic acid, whatever it's called, setting mist. <laughs> and so I was kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be another setting mist out there that I'm going to love. So I did just get the little one. This is the Matte Magic Mist and Set. So let's see what the mist is like. Okay. I, I still like my mister on my ColourPop. Like, look at that. Okay, hold on. Yes. And then this one. It's kind of like a like a sprit. <laughs> so I'm going to hold this on a little bit extra far and let's set it. Okay, so that's pretty much set. I will say that even though it felt nice and refreshing and it definitely did set my face, um, it does feel like some spots it kind of like has more of the actual mist than in other spots because of the mister. But... I don't know. I mean, you guys, I think I'm just spoiled and I'm used to my ColourPop one. But moving on to the brows, I have the Wow Brow Gel in Deep Brown. And this one says Voluminizing Fiber Gel. So, like, does it have fibers in here? We will find out. So, it looks like this. It's nice and little. Let me bring my little Jeffree Star mirror here. Sorry if I go a little orange. Oh my gosh, I think it does have fibers. There's like little hairs. Let me zoom this in to see if you guys could see it. Can you guys see the little fibers on here? I don't know if you guys could see them. But I don't know how I feel about that. Let's try it out on our brows. Okay guys, so that's one brow. I mean, does it look different than my other brow gel? No, but I will say that the little hairs can stick out a little bit and get into, you know, it could get a little messy, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so I don't hate it. I didn't get this because of the fibers. I just got it because it was the top rated brow gel and yeah, I mean. 
we'll see how it wears. <laughs> it looks fine though. Okay, so moving on to eyeliner and mascara. I got this e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. And it is kind of like one of those eyeliner pens or whatever they're called. Why can't I open any of these packages just like a normal human? I have to like rip the whole thing because it doesn't want to come out. Okay, here we go. And then I also did get two mascaras because... I don't know. I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> so the first mascara I have is the Keep Your Curl Mascara. And that is, of course, in the shade Black. And then the mascara that's called Plump It Up. Also, I totally did forget my waterline down here. So we'll get into it in just a moment. But we can go ahead and come in here. Okay, you guys, so I got that done. So I quickly want to say I know that I use multiple mascaras, and I know some of you maybe can't or don't want to buy more than one mascara. So the Keep Your Curl, I definitely think that it would work to keep your curl. I don't think it's going to, like, keep leave your lashes super full looking, um, but it will definitely, like, extend and bring up your lashes. And then the Plump It Up Mascara, I do think that it's helping keep that curl, but I also think it's helping to, like, make that voluminizing definition into your lashes. Um, so I can see both of them and how they work, and together I think that, I don't know, they worked pretty well for the look that I like anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead, do this other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Clearly, I added more things, it's okay. So I just simply went in with these two shades from the palette, and then a little bit of this shade, and that's what's on the under eye. And then I just kinda ran my mascara through my lashes. I did kinda cheat a little bit because I have no self-control but I use this ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade ALT 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 not sure and I just um, put it in my waterline on my bottom lashes and I don't know sorry I cheated <laughs> So now to pop a little bit of inner corner highlight, I think I'm just going to go in with the highlight that I used on my face and I'm just going to take it with a brush and I'm going to spritz it and then we're going to pop that in the inner corner. Okay, so I was pretty good with mostly everything, but when it came to the lips, I'm very picky with like my nudes. Like, yeah, some nudes are really pretty on other people, but I feel like they just don't look that great on me. So I went and I got a couple of <laughs> different things. I did get a lip liner. This one is in deep brown. Okay, so I went ahead and I got that lip liner on. I'm going to go ahead and focus the camera on my hand so I can show you really quickly the shades and stuff like that of the lip products that I got. And because I'm low-key debating about what I want to put in the center. So let's zoom it in and focus on the hand. Okay, so this shade right here is the shade Praline. That is the pencil lippy situation and then the next one is the naked nude gloss which was this one and then the next one was this oil tint in the shade nude kiss and the last one is a tinted oil in the shade mocha kiss I will say that last one definitely does feel more like a lip oil than the other one. The other one just feels like a straight up gloss. But if you rub it in, you can tell where the tint is still going to stay there. But it's it's more like a gloss 
definitely. But I think I'm going to go in with the nude gloss. I didn't want to be, you know, typical Jackie, but here we are. So going in with the gloss. And then I'm going to use the little brush on the lip liner. Okay, you guys, so that is it. That is everything on my face, completely elf, except for the little liner. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but I think that we did okay. I was very nervous, and especially once I started putting on that foundation that was very white. I am still a little too light, but it's not that bad. We kind of made it work. Um, so first, I will say the one thing that, not that I necessarily wouldn't recommend, just maybe if the little spritzer was a little bit better um, on this e.l.f. setting mist, I think that it would, everything would have been like, yes, try it all. But just this, because, you know, a mister can ruin your face real fast. So I think it is important to like really hold it out and then spritz yourself because if not I do have a feeling that it will like splat like in one spot. So you have to be very careful with that. Mm, other than that you guys I actually really 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 liked everything. I think that I was totally surprised by the concealer. That was I don't know that was amazing you guys that was amazing if I if you can only try one thing I would say go for the concealer but truly I liked it all you guys I am like so I also picked up a little extra goodie and this is the matte blotting papers I will let you guys know how these work hopefully you remember and I'll try it out later and they can leave it down in the description or even somewhere here as I'm talking about it um but so far you guys get on the elf train like yes you guys know that i like what i like i don't for me it's not about how much it costs um it's more how it looks on my skin and my skin looks pretty great i mean a little light but pretty great like i like it you guys i was also nervous that the foundation was going to be like chalky it wasn't it was not but before i do let you guys go i do just want to tell you guys thank you so much for letting me come and kind of like I don't know have this be a distraction we all have a lot going on besides what's going on with the world um but I just want to remind you guys stay home if you can stay home if you're sick stay home you guys I say this because I was out yesterday um I haven't been out without my husband these past few days but yesterday I had to go out we've been trying to find some kind of like disinfectant and cleaning supplies because um we saw people coming into our home um to try to buy the house and it's really dangerous and you know we're just doing the best we can with it so i had to go out and there was people that were out that were sick that were literally like breathing down my neck like i almost had like a full-blown panic attack at the bank it was intense one of the workers was like coughing and sneezing and i just you guys please stay home if you are sick I'm sorry, I know that I can't pay your bills and stuff like that, but it's for the safety and health of everybody, not just you, it's everybody. You guys, please be careful and just stay safe. And thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys in my next one. Adios!